After we set up our database, all you need to do is press save. You'll add it. You also have people permissions. This is really cool. Right now, I only have one person, but I can add my team members and uh, the groups that they belong to in order to show privacy. Specific tables can only be seen by specific admins. You have admins or non-admins. Okay, now I'm gonna go to create a pulse and I'm gonna say, I'm really interested in that orders, orders question I wrote beforehand. And I really wanna get that orders uh, table, right? Really interested in that orders table. And I go to, I wanna email it to whoever I want actually. I can put in whatever email, it doesn't need to be an, uh, an admin and I want it to send at that specific time to leash k sent daily i want to send a test email now okay and as you remember we already set up our back end we already set up the email integration now i go to my gmail and that's all there is to it orders table okay orders table this question hasn't been included as a file attachment that's kind of strange but i don't know why it did that did I ask for it to be included as a file attachment? Let's look back at the, at the pulse uh, attachment, I said. No, I don't want it to be included as an attachment. But I guess there was no, this question will be added as a file attachment. There was no other option. Well, looks like it's going to that actual question. This is strange. All right, well, it usually allows you to make all sorts of interesting tables with it. Ah, there it is. Okay, as you can see, we're getting more Gmail security alerts. We should just tell them, hey, it's okay. We trust metabase.com. That way you won't have problems with your, with your automated email delivery. I mean, we're talking about an automated email system. All right, we're talking about an automated email system. And there it is. It's a CSV file that I got sent in the mail with all my orders and I can also edit this question to anything I 